Hey, hey, Mzansi crew. Generations, the legacy actress Zoe Mtiane has allegedly said she was fired by the producers days after she collapsed on set due to bullying by one of Rapulana's girlfriends at the SABC One Soapy and emotional fatigue. Now, here are the details. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know you're here for this story. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, according to those close to Zoe, the actress has laid the blame of her dismissal at Rapulana's door, claiming that she could no longer focus on her work due to depression and bullying by the actor's girlfriend, who is allegedly an admin officer on the popular weekday Soapy. Now, though her friends claim that she was put on special leave to focus on her personal issues, other members of the production crew have suggested that the actress was given a boot by the producers of the Soapy as they could no longer tolerate the actress's behavior. Now, Generations publicist Nandipa Pansi also allegedly confirmed the actress's exit from the second most watched soapy in the country. She said Zoe is not part of the upcoming season of Generations, The Legacy. Her contract was not renewed. Zoe also confirmed she was currently not part of the soapy. Yes, I'm currently on leave. However, I cannot comment further on that. But when she was asked about claims that she collapsed on set, the actress said the incident was informed by emotional fatigue and bullying by some girl who had a relationship with her ex-boyfriend, C.P. Other details believed to have played a major role in her dismissal of Ntiane included claims that she rocked up on set drunk. Ntiane has allegedly denied that she went to work drunk, saying that the lies were peddled by people who were out to get her. Now, this information, the source say, was relayed to producers by C. Pimo's girlfriend, whom Tiana claims has always had a bone to pick with her because they were dating the same man. Detailing the incident during which Tiana collapsed, one member of the production team said they were shooting numerous scenes as per their schedule when Tiana suddenly fainted. The insider said an ambulance had to be called and she was rushed to the hospital where she was observed. Now, the actors guys work long hours and working conditions are horrible. Zoe's body could not take it anymore, especially since she was going through a tough time in her personal life. Another source said Ntiane was also suffering from depression and being a single mother and working long hours took a toll on her. But another member of the production team was sympathetic to Ntiane, saying the actress was a target of some girls at the Soapy who had teamed up with their friend to frustrate her at work. There's a lot of jealousy and cattiness. There are three influential ladies who have been ill-treating her and hoping that she would be frustrated and leave the show. Guys, this is just disturbing. Women still have a long way to go with this supporting one another thing. Firstly, this admin chick dates another woman's boyfriend while knowing very well they are dating and also knowing very well how that would feel if the tables were turned. To top it off, she goes and calls all her friends to put the nail on the coffin, on Zoe's coffin. Nanda then goes Papa 56-year-old Rapulana who's causing catfights around set and doesn't call his girlfriends to order. My heart goes out to Zoe. Girl, you are going to, to be fine. You're going through the most right now, but this too shall pass. Now there you have it, Mzansi. Do let me know what you think on the comment section below. I love to hear from you. But for now, you know I will bring you the updates. Heart, just the way you like it.